Hi, it's Pam from All Hands Art again. In a recent video called Ode to Doodling, I talked a little bit about why I doodle, why I've become so fascinated and kind of addicted to doodling in the last few years. And in this video, I'm going to go into the nuts and bolts of how I get started. And the hope is that you will be inspired to join me and do your own doodles. I want to talk a little bit about materials, but not too much because, as I said before, really all you need is any piece of paper, any pen. And remember that doodling emerged as a thing in the margins of lecture notes, so don't get hung up on materials. However, since I do this as a daily practice, I have been looking and testing different books, and I like this Fabriano brand, um, they're fairly inexpensive and they open flat, which is the main thing I was looking for. Some of the pages, um, you know, there might be a little bit of see-through to the next page below it, but because I'm mostly using pen and not watercolors or markers, that is fine with me. Um, and the way I usually start a doodle is, um, I like to have a border because, let me get my pen, my regular old ballpoint pen working. For I guess I just don't like to go off the edge of the paper. I like to have it be a little bit contained. So I'm using my pinky finger as a guide to get the lines somewhat even, not super even. And I also find that I like to double up on lines a lot. Um, it makes each line less important and the combination a little more sketchy, um, which is a look that I like. So I might just write something like, today I have nothing on my mind because I want to show you how mundane your journal, your doodling thoughts can be. Now the tricky thing is that while you're writing there's nothing on my mind, I'll actually find that there's a lot on my mind and having my hands busy kind of frees up my brain to just sort of ponder whatever is on my mind. And that's kind of another useful thing about doodling. Sometimes I discover things that I didn't even know were on my mind and then I can kind of explore or problem solve some of those things. And I've always been one of those people who loves lettering. Even when I was a kid, I used to spend tons of time trying out different kinds of lettering and practicing and practicing. I just love handwriting. So that is not required here, but if you like that too, this is a big free-for-all for just trying every kind of lettering that you've ever wanted to try, and it's really just for you. If you don't like lettering, you don't even need to write anything at all. It could all be just pictures and shapes, um, or it could just be your whatever, any kind of um, handwriting. And then I'm just using two or three simple, simple shapes. I love spirals. I love making them into little suns. I create borders. I add more spirals, little scallopy loops. And lately I've been loving making stars, the kind that are open, not the kind that cross in the middle, because um, they have so much character when they're a little bit slanty and askew. I'm going over my lettering, because I like to have it in double lines, and then there's a doodle.